Here's the first entry in our new puzzle collection. The neat thing about 3D printing puzzles is the challenge is not figuring out how to take the puzzle apart, it's how to put it together in the first place. Stick around and learn how to print and assemble this classic pyramid in a cage puzzle. Printable Science presents a 3D printed puzzle, the pyramid in a cage. I know how popular Benchy is, and probably the lion with the maid is right up there, but at Printable Science, we're finding that printing off puzzles is a far better way to check for tolerances and, and fine tuning a printer. As most puzzles have interlocking, if not interconnecting pieces, it's a great way to not only give your printer a workout, but to provide you with an object that makes a much better gift than a tugboat or a lion figurine. In fact, these puzzles make great stocking suffers, and even though we're releasing this project midsummer, if you're like me, you need as much time as possible to get around to printing things off for Christmas. The pyramid in a cage puzzle is composed of three objects. There's the cage and the pyramid. And as a little extra, we put together a little stand so the finished piece will sit attractively on a shelf or on your desk or somebody else's desk. You'll probably want to print each of these pieces in different colors as we have, though you'll probably want to print the two pieces of the cage in the same color. We printed all the pieces in PLA with a 0.2 millimeter layer height, two bottom and three top layers with two perimeters. Once printed, the only assembly required is assembling the cage. The cage is a close fit, and once put together, even without glue, you may find it impossible to separate without breaking it. If you decide to glue it, then we recommend our epoxy glue workstation. You'll see a link to that video up here, and you'll find it useful in all your gluing chores. You'll probably find you have some difficulty putting the cage together, but if you exercise some patience, it should fit together fine. The thing you want to look for is an overhang of your posts, just gently squeezing them in line with the socket while you're inserting it. And as you work your way around the model, you should find it not all that difficult to get the posts seated in all four corners. Okay, that's it. And now the challenge is to fit the pyramid in the cage. As you can see, there's no clear path for the pyramid to be inserted, no matter how much we twist and turn it. Well, it's quite simple actually, but we'll take a spoiler break here, and if you really want to figure it out by yourself, you should skip to the end of the break to pick up the balance of the video. The key to solving the construction of this puzzle is to consider the two-dimensional profile presented by the pyramid. As you shift and roll it around, you can see from a top-only perspective the two-dimensional outline of the pyramid changes. All you need to do is adjust and rotate the pyramid so that it presents a perfect two-dimensional square outline when you're inserting it or trying to extract it from the cage. This is the orientation that will allow the pyramid to slip easily into the cage. There you have it. Our pyramid is now held in the cage waiting for someone to apply the same technique for removing it once again. Thanks for watching. And won't you help by becoming an important part of the Printable Science family and making this channel more valuable and successful? You can help us out by taking the time to watch this video in its entirety and other Printable Science videos as well while your 3D printer is printing off this project. You can leave comments and questions below. That will help us to continue to create useful videos and 3D STL files that are printer ready and help you to maximize the power and utility of your 3D printer. Your feedback is very important. If you've enjoyed this video, please click the thumbs up button. And if you have just a moment, won't you show your support by clicking the subscribe button below. If you want to make sure you don't miss our upcoming videos on 3D printing, you want to click on the notify bell as well. And please consider supporting Printable Science on Patreon using the link supplied below. You can become one of our Patreon supporters for as little as a dollar a month, and it'll provide you with lots of extras and additional information as well as going a long way to defray the cost of making these files and videos. Down below, you'll also find a link where you can download a copy of the STL files from Thingiverse so that you can make your own Pyramid in a Cage 3D printed puzzle. As always, you can download a copy of the STL files for this and other projects directly from our website. The latest files and a discussion board on the Pyramid in a Cage and all our 3D printed puzzles 
are available at the printablescience.com website, where all the science that fits, we print. <laughs>